YouTube, welcome to the Team of the Week 22 investment video. Team of the Week investments have been doing really good lately. Every single week, out of packs, whatever it is, they've been going up in price. EA have been dropping a ton of SBCs that require Team of the Weeks. It's the road to the final promo right now. I wouldn't be surprised if on Sunday or Monday they release an 84 plus player pick or an 85 plus times three and those SBCs usually require two team of the weeks and if that's the case guess what these team of the week cards go up in price again uh risk wise you don't really have to worry too much the only thing that would maybe make these cards go down would be I mean nothing dropping but with team of the weeks you can just hold or uh, maybe a repeatable team of the week SBC but there's no leak for that as of now so I wouldn't really be worrying about that too much uh, I'll also be posting a lower budget investment video sometime around whenever this one comes out. So if you guys can't really afford these team of the weeks, keep an eye out for that because I think you can potentially double or triple your coins, especially if you are on a low budget. Before I get into the investments, if you guys want cheap, fast and reliable coins, make sure you check out U7Buy and use code Teddy at checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Let's get into the plays. No, 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 no. Sing. No. Uh, Zakagni 84s. Um, I'm not super crazy about the 84s this week. We have Zakagni and Coutinho. Uh, Coutinho, I believe Zakagni is about 16k both consoles. Coutinho is 18k. Uh, the only reason why Coutinho is 2,000 coins more is because it's Coutinho. It's his name. But if we're being honest, who's using Coutinho? I, I, I actually wouldn't be surprised. All the people that have like nostalgia for Coutinho, um, or people that didn't do his SBC. But I, I, I really wouldn't touch Coutinho. Um, Zakagni, I'm not super crazy about it. I mean, 16Ks, not terrible if you just want to pick up one of them, but I'm not, it's not one where I'm like going crazy about it. Now, moving on, we have 81s, 81 overall Gamero and 81 overall Hubner. They should be pretty easy to get for about 12,000 coins on both consoles. Uh, I think especially Xbox, Club Stock, Xbox Team of the Weeks, they always do really good. Club Stock, buy one of each. Keep them in your club. I really like 12K on them. I think even just going out of packs on Wednesday, they'll probably be pushing around 14,000 coins. Wouldn't be surprised if they're even higher than that. And if an SBC comes out, they will for sure go higher than that. Now, the 82s, uh, we have De Thomas. I thought there was another 82. Is it just him? I thought there was another 82. Ah, uh, De Thomas and Ben Sabaney. You should be able to pick up the 82s for about 13K. I think... The Thomas 13k Ben Sabaney. I can't I can't hit the compare price thing on these, but uh Ben Sabaney, I believe. Let me pull them up. I think you can get them for below 13k. So 13k for um De Thomas, but Ben Sabaney, you're probably gonna want to pay about 12,500 coins. I don't mind that. I know it's crappy nation, left wing back's not as good as left back, but uh still he's in the Bundesliga and um he's an 82 overall team of the week. So if you can get him for 12,500 coins for sure, club stock it. Always club stock. The, any of the pretty much 81 overall team of the weeks, 82, 83, any of those close to discard, I would club stock. So 13K to Thomas and probably 12,500 coins for Ben Sabaney. And now we move on to the 83 overall cards. Uh, Sebastian Allaire. I'm not crazy about it. Um, not like crazy about it at all. Uh, let me go pull him up. I don't even have his price. He's going for just below the price of Ruli. Ruli, by the way, is my favorite investment this week. Sebastian Allaire is about 14K. I mean, if you can get Sebastian Allaire for 13,500 coins, club stock him. Club stock. It's not bad. Just, just buy one for your club, whatever. That's chill. But uh, the investment that I like a lot this week, you guys know me. I like goalkeepers. Ruli. 14,250 coins. I like this a lot. Goalkeepers do so good in team of the week. They do so good. Like if you, every team of the week, you should club whatever goalkeeper team of the week there is, club stock them, just club stock them. I want to show you guys something. Um, this is an old investment. It's super old, so it's not like something crazy, but uh, we bought ITOR a while back while back but like if you're club stocking these goalkeepers see what happens over a long period of time you just buy one keep it in your club and then you check back a month or two later dude i source 60k on xbox and almost 40k on playstation so whenever there's goalkeepers they do so good out of packs there's only usually like two of them one or two of them every team of the week so goalkeepers always club stock i would say 14,250 coins on ruli and 
My guess on Wednesday, he'd be pushing around 16,000 coins going out of packs. That would be my prediction. Now we are on to the 86 overall cards. Basically, all of the 86 overall cards, we have Indombele, we have Minan, we have Delict, we have Trippier, we have James Ward-Prowse, we have Visca. We have Mitrovic up here. We have, it's so many 86s, it's kind of crazy. Fakir and Marco Royce. For the 86 overall cards, all of them 25K, except Visca and Mitrovic. They are terrible. Um, Royce, you can probably get for a bit cheaper as well. Royce isn't really up there with the uh, James Ward Pro. He's not up there with the Delict, Trippier, all them. Royce, maybe 24K, but then uh, James Ward Pro. Delict, Trippier, Minan, all those cards you're probably want to win, gonna want to win for around 25k. Minan, you're gonna have to pay a bit more because Minan's actually like a pretty solid card that people use. Uh, for Minan, I'd say you could probably play 26, 27k. I know we're probably gonna be getting a Lafont team of the week soon as well, which may cause some panic. But the thing with Minan, he's 80, it's his 86 overall, and then the next one for his Winter Wild card, I believe that card's going for 80k. So it's a pretty, pretty big jump. So I'd say 26, 27K on my end is not terrible. But all these guys, 25K for sure. And uh, Fakir, obviously you cannot win Fakir for 25K. I would say um, 30K on Fakir. I'm not sure what Griezmann's gonna do with them because same, if, it depends on Griezmann's position. If we're, we're supposed to be getting a, I think it's flashback Griezmann, I'm not too sure. But if he's a cam, sometimes same position can hurt them, but sometimes same position can help as well. But um, we'll see. I'd say 30K, 30K though, because Fakir is a super hype card. People love this dude. Um, his SBC was probably one of the most hyped cards in FIFA this year, along with Benzema. And for the people that didn't do his SBC, they're going to go buy his team of the week, which I think this is only one rating below what the um, SBC was. And then I almost forgot another 86, the Indombele. I think Indombele um, will do pretty solid. If you can pick up Indombele for 25K, that is really, really solid. It's especially because he's usable. Same thing with Delict. Delict is usable. Minan's usable. Indombele is usable. And they're around the fodder price range. Let me just make sure. Yeah, Indombele, you should be able to win for around 25 you very easily, you should be able to win in Dumbbelly for 25K. I think that's pretty solid. People are using him quite a bit and same thing with Delic. So 25K, 86 overall cards. And then, you know, I don't really do high rating um, investments, but I've been, you know, we've been talking, my, my traders, my boys, the mods in my Discord on Twitch, we've been talking a bit more. And um, Sterling, Sterling is fairly interesting. If you look at left wings in the Prem and uh, prices with them, Sterling is one of the cheapest ones that's actually really solid. And one thing with Sterling for me, all of his special cards have been right wings, except for his player of the month. And Sterling's player of the month, which is one rating higher than this 90 overall Sterling, his player of the month costs 440K. And I, I still think the player of the month was four star, three star. Yeah, so I mean, I, I'm kind of interested in the Sterling team of the week. He's on a really high trend right now on Xbox. He's been chilling around 75K. On Xbox, in the past hour, he's just jumped up 5,000 coins. So 75K on Xbox. I'm assuming it's just a weird high trend right now. And then um, low 70s on PlayStation. He's 73K on PlayStation right now. Um, if you can get him for 70K, I think that's amazing. You might have to pay like 71, maybe 72. Uh, if you want, a lot of people aren't going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to go invest in a ton of Raheem Sterling team of the week. You can't really afford that. But if you want Sterling for your team, I think picking him up, not too bad. I wouldn't be surprised if he rises to 90K-ish, somewhere around there out of packs. That would be my guess. And that is it for the Team of the Week investments. My favorite low-risk plays for this week, you guys know, I always like the goalkeepers, Ruli, Hubner, De Thomas, Gamero. Those are pretty much zero-risk investments. The 86 cards are a little higher, but I still think they'll do solid. If you guys have any questions about these investments, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.